Hey guys, what's going on? Next level down here. Welcome to the Stanley Parable. This is a game where I don't really know. How to, there's a lot of choices and a lot of endings, and you'll see what it is, right? So Connor hasn't actually seen this game yet. I thought it was dry and saggy. Yeah. Saggy. Got these flip flops. Right. Begin the game. Right. Okay. Begin the game. And he found his coffin at a long Right, so this is the Stanley Parable. It might seem very boring, but it gets better. Right. As the two of them us, he entered the door on his left. Should we enter the door on the left? No, we'll be a fucking rebel and go through on the right. <laughs> oh, we're gonna get wrecked. Oh, it's deal on audio. <laughs> Isn't that a red telephone? Fuck off. If you can just answer the phone. It's a weird phone. I might have a fucking stone a bit, so I know it's happened. Oh, Stanley, is that you? Uh, hold on, please. I'm sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pouring a brown of the oven. Oh, I have no life for. Okay, there we go. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about your dinner. <laughs> Voila. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife who would want to commit their life to you? I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. Oh. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. Fucking dunk animation, though. Tits. This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. Good morning, please. Should we? Yeah. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. I don't want to press E. But it was mine. Have we oh, been turned into Stanley or something? Just taking control of us. It's like Eddie. a fucking the Simmons gone wrong. Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Press four to watch TV. And so he began to fantasize about his own job. Oh. First, he imagined that one day while at work, Where he stepped up from his desk. Just disappeared. Did you not see it disappear? No. It was there. It Everyone disappeared into the lot. Turned into his desk. <laughs> As he wandered through this fantasy huh? world, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. He's fucking stuck in some path made in He's done, like. Yeah. With monitors and mind controls. He's doing his teeth. That shit all over the game. Maybe. Dirty bastard. And down another with a gay ring. But there is no answer. How could there possibly be? So sad. All he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. Uh, yeah, we've turned into Stanley. He gets. Perhaps, well, maybe this time you'll see. Maybe this time you won't. And I tried again. Okay. <laughs> That's nice. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. I don't want to die. Oh. Okay. So we just died. <coughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> Oh. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. No, I'm not gonna. I'm a rebel. I'm sitting in this broom closet. There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow, just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. I don't care. There's a yellow bucket. That's the reason I'm here. I like yellow buckets. It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. Rebel, he said F.A. There's this cardboard box. Are you, are you really still in the broom closet? Standing around doing nothing? Why? Please offer me some explanation here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. <sighs> you do realize there's 
no choice or anything in here, right? Yep. If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. Mm -hmm. But it didn't yep. even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story What? You modelled it, not me. <laughs> I never would have thought to mention it. Well, you did. So, shut up. I'll walk out Maybe this closet. Maybe to you this is somehow its own branching path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, mm -hmm. Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending was my favourite. It was. I hope your friends find this concerning. <laughs> yep. Go on. I'm going to say anything else. You'll mug. Stanley was yep. fat and and really, really stupid. He probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. That or with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. Well, I am. I love hookers, mate. Don't you? Yeah, mint. Hook. It's well, mint. Well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. Well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby? The person at this computer is dead. He or she has fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place at the computer, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming, so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. All right, when you've done that, just step out into the hallway. Ah, second player, it's good to have you on board. I guarantee you can't do any worse than the person who came before you. Should go back in the group. <laughs> you too. <laughs> okay, we'll leave. <laughs> Mind control, idle, awaiting input. System power. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Mm, this could change everything. <laughs> so he's asking us to put it off, isn't he? Yeah. What should we do? Switch off. Now we can't see. Oh, we died. And another loading screen. I don't think we died, Connor. Dramatic. <laughs> Rising chill of uncertainty. Fucking wrecked to death, man. Calm down. Yes. Oh. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Way, Unshackled way, himself way, way. from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments was away. It the... And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Have we just finished the game? I think we have. How may they be freed from the machine's grasp? There's a lot of endings, I know that, but we really finished it that quick. But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that it's he bright. Had oh, look at it. But happiness. Perhaps his goal Why does it go down? <laughs> Continues out here. Fucking hell, we're in there. We're in the Shire as well. The Lord of the Rings. And seeing Lord of the Rings. Fuck off. <laughs> you know what I have heard. Oh. Stanley felt the cool. He took control of me! The feeling of liberation. The immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now. So guys, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Oh wait, yeah.
Yeah, we're back here, aren't we? Oh no. Oh. That's different. I swear down. This is different. All this trail has been gone. What could it mean? Oh. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he has simply missed a memo. What F? I don't know. Oh. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door and left. That was different, so I'm seeing what's happening. <laughs> Alright guys, so we're back at this point. This time we're gonna press on and see what happens. Oh Stanley, you didn't just activate the controls. Did yeah, I did. After they kept you enslaved all these years, you see? you tried to take control of the machine for yourself. What the hell? You it's a fucking matrix on crap. <laughs> oh, Stanley, Can you just press off you now? Do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go. Turn I didn't want it! No. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. Um, Hold on until detonation then. Just walk out the door behind us. Let's say um, two points. Ah, now this is me. Stanley. No, it's your <laughs> <Did> you fucking <laughs> run. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desire. Who was in a skate door oh, back there? Much there. better than what I had in mind. Door? What a shame yeah. we have so Where? little time oh, left out there. to enjoy. There was a dark was scared. That was it. That was it. Just a door. That was through there. Precious was it? Yeah, that was when, that was the way we came. Do you press the buttons? One, two, three, four, and five. Oh, there's a door over there. Do you press the buttons? Where are we going? We have time. Yeah, of course we do. It's free. I don't think we have time. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are. We'll press one and two anywhere, and then we'll go. You know, we'll you're obliterated. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. I'll tell you. <laughs> nice <later>. one. <laughs> that was just. I erased them. I turned Fuck. off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever. This Rex is a proper cunt. <laughs> I like Other times, I let the office sink into the ground. Swallowing everyone inside. He's telling us the horrendous. Chris, I have to say this though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything. I hope we just press the back the control wrestling away from you. Look at this. Well, there's number five over there. I hate to see it go. I don't know what I just done. Whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds. What? I pressed them all. I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock, why not? These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't One. grow on trees. Two, this music oh, better than the copyright. <laughs> I think he's put another minute. You have no idea yeah, where you're going or what, what you're supposed to be doing right now. Or did you just assume Three. when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running from button to button. Screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. Not these numbered buttons. No, not these current ones. Or maybe this big red button. Or this door. Everything, anything. Something here will say. So if we do the numbers again, then we'll find that big red button now. Is, is that a button there behind us? Game can be is that, no, it's light. One, oh, is that? Do you have no, any no. idea what we'll your place on this place is? That's a click button thingy. <laughs> Stanley. Ah! <laughs> for quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're you free attempts from here. To see you from make click the button. This what, is not a passcode. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world. <laughs> I think the five numbers would have been a passcode. Rather so than one, two, three, four, five. Take a look at the clock screen. We're gonna fucking die anyway. What's that there? Break it. Console to set. Just you being blown to pieces. Will you bring death? Or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice. We can't let go fucking peacefully into the nuclear bomb up the gods. Yeah. Goodbye, world. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we faded until the moment I say. Oh, okay.
That's grim as fuck. <laughs> Well, that was fun. So guys, that was the Stanley Powerful. We played as much as we could. Uh, we might come back to this and play another ending or get as far further than we could uh, as soon as possible. I didn't know this was controllable with the key, but with the thingy, that would have been helpful ages ago. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and we shall see you in the next video. Remember to subscribe! Wait, no. This isn't the right office, is it? Is this Stanley's what? office? Uh, no, don't start again! <laughs>